Hey all, it's Eric Seidel from Shorebird. Whew, what? It's been a little busy. Uh, sorry I've been a little late, late on the updates, um, but this is here for our weekly update. If you hadn't heard of us, uh, we are doing Flutter for business. We're filling in many of the missing pieces, that, the obstacles that businesses hit when they try to deploy Flutter. Uh, the first product that we're building is Code Push for Flutter. So over the air updates for Flutter. Uh, so what's new since we last talked? Well, um, we have apps in production. Uh, there's actually a, a handful of, of um, apps running with Shorebird in production. We'd like to have a lot more and we're working on that. Um, we've been working initially with a small group of uh, trusted testers, we've called them, uh, to fix their just unending stream of blocking bugs, uh, which is what's been keeping us busy. Um, and otherwise we've spent a bunch of time in the last couple of weeks uh, fixing our infrastructure as we scale um, both to this set of users as, as well as get ready to scale further. Uh, recently we rewrote our backend to support fully automated uh, signups. Previously, our signup process uh, to add a new user was about 10 minutes uh, and several emails back and forth. Um, and as we talked about last time, we recently rewrote the way that we integrate with Flutter. So now we vend our own forked copy of Flutter as opposed to depending on the user having installed Flutter and Dart before using Shorebird. Um, that gave us a whole bunch of benefits, including the fact that we now support uh, all flavors of Android, all architectures of Android, as well as all Linux and all Mac hosts. Uh, Windows support is coming uh, very soon, but not quite there yet. We've also mostly automated now our Flutter release process, um, or rather our updating when Flutter releases. Flutter releases about every one to two weeks. Uh, and previously it was hours or sometimes days for us to, to fix our stuff and update. Now it's minutes, um, which is much better. Um, so yeah, looking forward, right now we're very focused on users in production. As I said, we have some, we would like to have a lot more. Um, what has been gating this is in part been this manual signup process, which we've recently fixed. I also am a big believer in close contact with one's initial users. It's part of just um, making sure that you're actually building something people want. And so that's why we've had this, this small group of people that we can talk to on Discord. Um, but again, we're looking to expand that group uh, now quickly in the next few days. Um, yeah, so we'll be sending some new, more invites soon. Uh, we're still targeting relatively small apps just to make sure that we don't melt our servers uh, and or disappoint your users, but I expect that limitation to also grow very quickly as well. Um, and yeah, if you wanna help, uh, come check us out on Discord. Uh, you can join our mailing list link from our website. Uh, if you'd like to be involved in the Trusted Tester program, there's a Google form uh, that we can fill out and just ask for your, uh, your name and your, your Discord and that sort of thing. Um, and otherwise, See you next week for another weekly update.